from NBC News, this is Today with Katie Curry and Matt Lauer. Thanks for showing up this morning. Meanwhile, inside Studio 1A, I'm Katie Couric, along with Weekend Today's Lester Holt and Al Roker, the aforementioned. Matt is off today. And coming up in this half hour, medical breakthrough or Big Brother gone too far. Yeah, the government has just approved the use of a computer chip that would be implanted under your skin so doctors can quickly access your medical records. Some call it a giant step forward. Others worry about the invasion of privacy it may represent. We'll show you how the chip works in just a few minutes. Up next, would you implant a computer chip under your skin if it could save your life? Apparently, it's not science fiction anymore. This morning on Today's Health, a computer chip that could be implanted under your skin so doctors can quickly access your medical records. The FDA just gave a Florida company the go-ahead to do it. You might recall about two years ago, a family was implanted with a Vera chip right here on the Today Show. Scott Silverman is the chairman and CEO of Applied Digital Solutions, the maker of the Vera chip. Scott, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Lester. Explain to me briefly what the Vera chip is and what it is supposed to do. Vera chip is a tiny miniaturized RFID or radio frequency identification microchip. It's 11 millimeters by one millimeter. It's about the size of a grain of rice. Well, we've got one sitting there by a penny to, uh, to give us a little perspective of the size, very Correct. tiny. You implant it under the skin, how? It gets injected, just like getting a shot of penicillin or any medicine that you would get in a doctor's office. It goes in the upper right arm, which is the area that our physicians have chosen for ease of access as well as biocompatibility. And in a minute we'll talk about how you scan it, but tell sure. me what information is on that, why that would be of great use if I show up in an emergency room. Yeah, on the chip itself is only a unique identification number. And Verichip can be used for the medical application as well as the security or a financial application. In the case of a medical application on a database that ties to the chip, you can provide all your medical information such as medical device information, medical records, and personal information. You choose what information goes on there and you choose the type of affiliates such as emergency rooms that could have access to that information. Is, is this the same thing that I have implanted under my dogs. I, they did, I know this sounds horrible, but they did something on my dogs where if it gets lost, you right. can match the dog Actually, up. it's not horrible. Um, our sister company, Digital Angel Corporation, manufactures a product that Shearing Plow distributes by the name of Home Again. Home Again is the implantable microchip for dogs and cats. Same technology. Same technology. Millions of them a year go into dogs and cats around the world. In fact, a few weeks ago here on the Today Show, you had the American Kennel Club who actually scanned some, a dog on national television with our chip and our scanner. All right, it's enough about dogs now. Yep. Again, you go to the emergency room, this information is there, but to access this, the hospital has to have the scanning device. How soon will hospitals have the technology to match up with this chip? Well, thanks to the FDA and their diligent work over the last two years, we now have the clearance to go to market with both the chip and the scanner. All right, it's, show it, me how this works, because you've sure. got a scanner here, and you have a chip implanted is it under your, underneath your right it's arm? It's in the right arm. You power up a scanner and you simply scan the arm, and once you scan the arm, you'll see that the identification okay, and, information... And on, our, on the laptop here you have it hooked up to, it says some number, but that doesn't tell me anything about your health condition now. They, from that number, they access your health right, records. Right, that's correct. If you go into further detail on the database about Scott Silverman, it'll have my driver's license information, it'll have medical information, it'll have financial information, and it'll have security information for ingress and egress into facilities. All right, you hear the sound of the background, people saying, big brother, too much information, a little scary. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, it's interesting. I used to get that question a lot two years ago. Uh, today, we've gotten it a lot less. In fact, uh, the Attorney General of Mexico and some of his staff have received this chip for security purposes, and when the acceptance rate of the product goes up significantly like it has, some of the privacy concerns go down. But to answer your question directly, Lester, what most people are concerned with is the invasiveness of this, that it goes in your body. And as we know with pacemakers and other medical devices, that when people accept it for its applications and for its ability is when mm -hmm. it'll work its way into society. It won't be tomorrow, it won't be next week, but two, three, five years from now, slowly but surely, it'll work its way into the mainstream. All right, Scott Silverman, thanks very much for coming Thank on you. talking about this. All I right. appreciate it. It's good to see you. Coming up in our next half hour, we've got news for seniors in search of the hard-to-get flu vaccine. But coming up next, we're going to make over Katie's home office. Not me, but we brought in experts to do the job. That's coming up right after these messages.